gonna give you a couple pointers on installing the uh, XUP cable to eat that we came up with for the 11 to 18 Apex. Uh, you can do this while it is on the machine. Uh, your biggest battle is probably gonna be getting this cover out of the way. Uh, there's two bolts on the top side here, you can't see them, but uh, they're stripped out on this one. They're stripped out on a lot of them that I pull apart. Um, so I just kind of pried it out of the way to make this video. But um, you don't need the cover on once you have the cables removed. So you could just cut that piece off, grind it off, whatever you got to do to get it out of the way. But um, so once you get it, uh, get the cover off and you get access to the pulley, you know, there is a nut on here. I already have it removed, but, you know, you're going to want to rotate this so it lines up with that alignment hole at the top. That's what you use when you adjust the cables, when you calibrate. You know, stick like an Allen wrench or something in there to lock it, and then you can break the nut loose on the shaft here. Uh, once you pull this pulley off, it's important to note that you do not want to rotate this this uh, shaft at all because it is a symmetrical, you know, the flats on both sides. You could actually orient this 180 degrees off and have the valve not open. Um, so what I'm going to suggest is is take a marker and just mark the top side here. And then for the uh, proper orientation, you're going to see you're going to have to rotate, rotate the shaft. And, and basically the flats are going to be diagonal across these two two bolts so you know rotate it so your your paint mark or your marker mark is up pointing up this top corner here and then you know, you'll proceed to fit the fit the plate on there and then you'll put your nut on and tighten it down and then uh, you know you know, with this fork on here, you know, it's going to lock, lock that valve from rotating. Um, you want to, you want to leave your servo motor attached to the sled and leave that plugged in. If you remove that or disconnect it, you're going to get a, an error code, you know, on the dash. But uh, it's a pretty straightforward installation. Like I said, your biggest battle was probably going to be dealing with this cover if your bolts are corroded and stripped out. But uh, that's part of the reason why I didn't want to... You know, I was originally thinking I would just remove the whole valve assembly and then put a block off plate. But, uh, you know, with the age of these machines now, these four bolts uh, would be a real nightmare to get out on some of these headers. And if you break them off, then you're kind of stuck and can't put a plate back on. So I figured this was the easiest and the most painless solution to, to getting rid of those cables. Thanks for watching.